Seminar is your official Wildcats and Lady Cats Station, KSST, 1230 a.m. Sulphur Springs, Texas. It's time for Lady Cats Volleyball. Let's go to Don Julian as our the KSST Sports Director as he covers the game tonight. Don? James Terry, thank you very much and welcome everyone into the main gym on the campus Sulphur Springs High School. Wiley East, the Lady Raiders are in town uh, uh, tonight or this uh, evening. Actually, it looks like about a 6 o'clock start here. So we're a little tardy. Uh, uh, David Carrillo's JV had an epic uh, battle that they lost 2-1. Uh, to one, But it was three very competitive sets with Wiley East. And uh, so that took a little bit of the time, more than uh, they probably expected. It was more than an hour anyway, and that's all they budgeted for it. So we're going to be starting at about 6 o'clock. We had hoped to live stream tonight, but we're having some technical difficulties. And uh, even uh, had an alert for some people in uh, Wiley that uh, maybe would try to watch tonight. But for the third consecutive game, we are having some uh, problems uh, in the equipment here in the gym. And I'm not sure where they uh, uh, are originating. So uh, that's uh, going to be the case again tonight. Unless something miraculous happens, uh, we do not expect to be able to live stream tonight. But uh, it's unfortunate. Uh, we uh, had told the coach at Wiley East we were certainly going to try to do that. But I also told her that we had had uh, nothing but problems uh, this volleyball season. I think this is like the third game that we've tried to do, and we're 0 for 3. So our track record is <laughs> not very good. But uh, we do have uh, volleyball for you tonight on the radio. Uh, Doug will be videotaping. It will be replayed uh, on uh, Channel 18 on Southern Link Cable, and it will also be uh, posted up on YouTube. So the game will end up on YouTube, but it'll have, you'll have to watch it on delay, and only after Doug uh, gets it all put together whenever that may be based on his uh, busy schedule here during the football season. Wiley East is 12-12 and 12 on the season. Uh, they're coached by Lisa Curry, and we thank her so much for uh, granting us uh, you know, everything that we asked to do tonight, and unfortunately we're not going to be able to do some of it. Her assistant coach is Jessica McLean. Uh, the JV coach is Nikki uh, Calverly, and the freshman coach is Erica Amos for the uh, Raiders uh, of Wiley East High School. And uh, the warm-ups uh, have stopped. Uh, the Lady Cats, by the way, 18 and 9. And uh, as they come in tonight, this will be their only game this week as they're taking uh, homecoming night off. Uh, to enjoy the homecoming football game and all the festivities. One of the uh, Lady Cats volleyball players is actually in the homecoming court. And congratulations to uh, Kaylee Malone. Had a chance to talk with her today. And a wonderful story about how I first met her. I was talking with Coach Dorner, and I said, tell me all the new players. I've got to learn the new players. And I said, which one's Kaylee Malone? And she was standing about five feet away and wondering why we were talking about her. And uh, she said, who's talking about me? And uh, so I told her what we were doing. I said, so I won't forget you. And she said, I'm unforgettable. So she will now, to me, will always be the unforgettable Kaylee Malone. And so congratulations to her uh, for uh, being one of the 13 uh, in that uh, uh, homecoming court with uh, voting going on this week. And uh, well, they'll have a practice session. They met with the media today. The, uh, today They will have a practice session on Thursday, pep rally on Friday, and then uh, Friday evening right before uh, uh, the football game uh, commences, uh, the announcement of the princesses and uh, also the homecoming queen will be uh, announced. And there's some good uh, uh, candidates today that uh, we uh, talked to, all 13 of them, and and uh, it's going to be uh, those voters have their work cut out for them. Let's check in with David Carrillo now.
looked at some recent history uh, in this series and just kind of went back a big moment to kind of get it all started. Oh, here's David Carrillo. I forgot. He's got some girls to introduce. She's got a uniform on down there. Probably wasn't on his list. She's wearing number eight. And so Nyla Lindley is, may also see some action here tonight. She played a JV game, but since they're off on Friday, uh, they will be able to play a couple of uh, matches uh, tonight and still be legal about it. I was talking about the teams played in by district back in uh, 2017. Uh, Wiley East won that one. Uh, the next year, 2018, uh, Lady Cats went to Wiley East and lost uh, that one. This is kind of a return trip uh, uh, because of that game last year. But uh, we kind of got in an additional game earlier this year in the Garland ISD tournament. And Wiley East, uh, they won them all. And uh, they won earlier this year two to nothing. But Coach Dorner reminded me today that uh, scores were very close in that Garland tournament and uh, that she thought her Lady Cats could turn it around here on the home court tonight. We shall see as uh, we're just about ready to get started here as uh, both teams uh, kind of uh, in circles. Uh, without coaches, uh, they're just uh, kind of doing their pregame thing. And uh, for the Lady Cats, uh, looks like they'll start with uh, Kate Womack, Aaliyah Abron, and Sadie Washburn. And Erica Van Bentham. And I'm not sure. I think Brooklyn Burnside is the one that will check out for Chella Moya to come in, the libero. And that is happening right now. And also out there for the Lady Cats is uh, Peyton Hammock. Let's see. Uh, Wiley East does not have easy numbers for me to read. Uh, Hannah Perry is out there. And boy, those front ones are really hard to read. Uh, uh, Miranda Howard is out there, but we'll we'll pick them up there. Libero uh, uh, Grace Christner is out there. And serving to get us started now is Erica Van Bentham to serve a good one. Popped uh, up near the net, and uh, Wiley East couldn't dig it out of the net. They're behind one to nothing. 
So Erica Van Bentham will have another serve for the Lady Cats. They lead one to nothing, just getting underway. It's a good serve. Second shot for Wiley East, and over it goes, and it hit the sideline. Boy, a close call on the right down in front of us. And it hit the sideline, and we're tied at one. And serving now, I believe this is Miranda Howard. I believe that's an 11. Really hard to read those. Here's a serve dug by the Lady Cats, and over it goes by, by a hammock. Hit back to the Lady Cats, and uh, Sadie Washburn hit it over, and a uh, hitting violation on the Lady Cats, and they are down 2-1 uh, to one now with another serve coming. And I believe, again, it's by Miranda Howard. I believe that's 11. Boy, it could be anything, though. Serve on the way. Dug uh, by Kate Wilmack. Popped up in the air by Hammett. And over by Sadie Washburn. Second shot for Wiley East. And over it goes. And that one, a uh, good crossfire. Hit on the far side. Just inside the line. And Wiley East is up 3-1 to one here in set one. That is an 11, by the way. It, this looks clearer to me now. Howard with another serve over the top of the net. Good dig by Paris Pickett. Hit by uh, Abron. Uh, try for the kill by Sadie Washburn, and it was blocked by uh, Wiley East, and they're up 4-1. to one. It's kind of like the JV game, the way it got started. They were way behind uh, before they scored too many points. Good serve by Wiley East. Lady Cats uh, set it up, and a big try for a kill by Aaliyah Abron. Wiley East got it back on their side and got a good kill, and they go up five to one. And so another string, uh, the string continues for the server there, uh, Miranda Howard. Howard serve, a good one hit by Kate Womack. Hammock pops it up in the air, Sadie Washburn, and she hit the back line, breaking the string for the Lady Cats, and they're down now five two. And back to serve is Kate Womack. Lady Cats have won two in a row. They won over at Pleasant Grove uh, on uh, Friday, three to nothing. And Kate Womack serving for the Lady Cats. And over it goes. Uh, Lady Raiders set up the net. Oh, but they tried to punch it over, and it the ball stayed on their side. So Lady Cats are back to within five to three. Kate Womack with another serve coming. And Kate, serve is over. Again, Wiley East sets up the net. And, uh, oh, another strong finish. And that one just hit the sideline. And I believe that's the player going back to serve now. That was Leah Stamps on a good kill for Wiley East. And they lead 6-3 to three here in set number one. That's three out of five here. Stamps with a serve. Dug by Pickett. Hammock sets it up and feathered over by uh, Sadie Washburn. Kept alive and over it goes. And that was a little too wide on the hit by Wiley East. They tried again for that uh, sideline and missed that one. And the Lady Cats trail by two, six to four. And Aaliyah Abram is now back to serve. Abram serve and all the way across the back line. And Wiley East leads seven to four. And let's see if they check somebody in. No, one of the players on the court's going to serve. This will be Hannah Perry back to serve for the Raiders. There's the serve. It's hit by Kate Womack high in the air. Popped up by Hammock, and over it goes by Sadie Washburn. Set up to the net and feathered over. Good dig by Sadie. Popped up by uh, Hammock and over by Aaliyah Abram. Now it's set to the net and popped over. Lady Cats keep it alive and send it to Sadie Washburn. Tried for the big kill, but uh, Wiley East kept it alive and returns it. Good dig by Abram. Hammock pops it up, and Sadie Washburn hits it over. Again, Wiley East keeps it alive, feathers it over. Good dig by Womack. Popped up by Hammock and over by Sadie Washburn. A good uh, rally, and here's a shot that... Failed to clear the net, though, by Stamps, and the Lady Cats pick up the point. They trail 7-5, to five, and back to serve is Sadie Washburn. And Brooklyn Burnside is now in at the net, along with Erica Van Benton. There's a serve by Sadie Washburn. It's an ace as a couple of uh, Raiders looked at it and let it go, and it fell between them. And the Lady Cats are down by one, now seven to six for Sadie Washburn. Another serve coming. 
give credit for an ace on that one. Washburn to serve, and there was a whistle, and uh, let's see what we have. It looks maybe, well, I don't know. It looks like, it looked like uh, now the uh, judge with the red flag came up to talk to the official up in the eagle's nest, the Irie. And Coach Curry doesn't understand what happened, but uh, a stray whistle, I guess, and we'll play it over. Here's the serve by Washburn. Second hit by Wiley East, and the shot blocked, but uh, it was uh, not uh, hit back. It was blocked, but stayed on the Lady Cat side, and Wiley East now leads 8-6. As they get ready to serve. Served by the Raiders, a good one hit by uh, Washburn. Popped up in the air. Brookside, uh, Brooklyn Burnside hit the back line for the kill attempt, and Lady Cats are again down by one by the score of eight to seven. Looks like I've got some tennis news from Tony Martinez. Here's the serve by uh, Hammett. Wiley East returns it. Oh, it went off of Leah Abram and then went back toward the back wall and. 9-7 lead now by Wiley East. And checking in to serve their libero, that's Grace Christner. Wearing a white uh, top with uh, black shorts, or Spanx, I guess you call it. There's the serve, hit by Kate Womack, popped up by Hammock, and over it goes by Sadie Washburn. And the ball set up toward the net. Hit, but blocked by the Lady Cats, and uh, Wiley East hit it again. There's the second shot, and over. No, not over. Kate Womack tried to get it over, but ended up in the net. And Wiley East is up 10 to 7 here in set one. Another serve coming for Christner. Christner's serve on the way, hit by Leah Abram, popped up by Hammock. Brooklyn Burnside, a good kill. It went off of one of the Raiders. And the Lady Cats back to within two at 10-8. And Chella Moya, the libero for the Lady Cats, back to serve. And uh, her serve is over. Serve libero to libero. Now returned by Wiley East. There's a second hit by the Lady Cats. Over by Erica Van Bentham. And now set up to the net. And oh, a nice finish. That was Stamps again. And she's a good finisher. Leah Stamps, and that's a couple of kills she's got, and Wiley East leads 11 to 8, and now checking in off the bench to serve is Kelsey Mullen. So Mullen now serving for the Raiders. Left-handed serve, hit by Moya. Hammock sets it up. Oh, Kate Womack tried to uh, hammer it over and ended up uh, into the net. Wiley East up 12-8. Mullen with another serve for the Raiders. Wiley East High School. They're getting a new gym, I understand. There's a left-handed serve hit by Erica Van Bentham. Popped up in the air by Hammett. Aaliyah Abram returns it, but Wiley East keeps it alive. And they return it. And then the Lady Cats hampered. Uh, could not get it back on three tries. They got it over in four, but that's uh, not going to work. 13-8, and Mullen with another left-handed serve for the Raiders. It's hit by Erica Van Bentham. Popped up by Hammock to Erica, and she hammered it back across, but kept alive by Wiley East, and they feather it over. Moya pops it up. Hammock set it up to Kate Womack, and, oh, she hit the ball. It kind of did a dance across the net and then fell on the Wiley East side. Home net. Wiley East 13, Lady Cats 9, and serve now for Erica Van Bentham. Erica's serve is over. There's a second shot. This will have to go over and does. Hit by Moya. Popped up by Hammett towards Sadie Washburn, and she drilled it, but it went across the back line. And Wiley East is up 14 to 9. And now serving, we're back to uh, Miranda Howard, who had a good string earlier in this match. Got Wiley East going early. There's a serve. Dug by Womack. Popped up by Hammock and over by Sadie Washburn. The Raiders keep it alive and return it. It's hit by uh, Paris Pickett. But a violation on the Lady Cats. And uh, 
Wiley East is up 15 to nine here in set uh, number one. Howard with a serve, hit by Paris Pickett, hit by Hammock and over by Moya. And uh, Wiley East sets up the net and gets it over, hit by Paris Pickett. Hammock sends it up to uh, Sadie Washburn, hammered away, but Wiley East kept it alive. They set up the net, goes off a hammock and heads to the back wall. And uh, Wiley East leading 16 to nine and timeout taken by Bailey Dorner for the Lady Cats. Wiley East in set one leads 16 to nine. We'll take the break with them and we'll be back in a moment. And back here to play, um, had a difficulty with a text from uh, Tony Martinez. Um, my phone is cranky and it did not want to accept it. I thought I could get to it, but uh, it came up uh, with nothing. Here's an ace of a serve now by, uh, again, that Miranda Howard. And uh, Wiley East is up commandingly now, 17 to 9 here in set one. Howard with another serve coming for the Raiders. And Howard with another serve and just kind of lobbed it over. It was hit back over by Kate Womack and almost handcuffed him. And then they hit it uh, out of bounds. So a point for the Lady Cats. Boy, that, that serve by, by Howard is just, she just kind of lobs it over there and it, it does kind of disarm you. 17-10, the Lady Cats trail. Here's the serve by Kate Womack, a good one. And Wiley East sets up the net. Dug by Womack. Hammock will set it up to Sadie Washburn. She cross-fires, but a good dig by their libero for the Raiders. They got it across. Moya pops it up and re uh, hit by Sadie Washburn. But again, the Raiders keep it alive and return it. Hit by Pickett. And uh, Hammock over to Sadie Washburn. She blasts away. Even got help from the ceiling, but they kept it alive. But that ceiling really didn't help as it sent it toward the net in an awkward uh, angle. And... Uh, point for the Lady Cats makes it 17-11 uh, now down by six. Here's Kate Washburn with a uh, Kate Womack with a serve. Here I go with that again. And over by the Raiders hit by uh, Moya. Hammock over to Sadie Washburn. Her shot blocked but they blocked it out of bounds. Point for the Lady Cats and they're back to within five at 17-12. Another serve coming Kate Womack. And Kate gets it across. Popped up near the net, set up to the net. Stamps fires away. The Lady Cats keep it alive. And over by Hammock for the third hit. Again, set up to the net, too, and feathered over by Stamps. Lady Cats kept it alive. Over to Sadie Washburn. Hammers away, went off a couple of uh, uh, Raiders, and then headed to the back wall. The Lady Cats are down by four now at 17-13. Another serve coming, Womack. And Kate Womack serve on the way. Oh, a good one, but they did return it. Lady Cats set up the net and feathered over by Sadie Washburn and put it in a good spot. And the Lady Cats are back to within three at 17-14. Another serve coming, Kate Womack. Womack serve on the way, a good one. Second hit by the Raiders. And oh, uh, again, uh, players kind of backed away from that. And, uh, Young lady tried to react at the last moment, but couldn't get it back across. Lady Cats back to within two at 17-15. Kate Womack with another serve. Oh, she blasted across the back line, and Wiley East is up 18-15. And Stamps heads back to serve. Leah Stamps. And here comes Stamps serve. It's good. Hit by Pickett. Hammock sets it up. Sadie Washburn blasted away, but uh, it was kind of low, and uh, she, it, by hitting a low shot like that, it just zipped across the back line by a bunch. And uh, somehow there's a discrepancy in the score. Uh, and here's a serve by Wiley East, and then hit into the net by the Lady Cats. I think they corrected that uh, mistake. Well, not quite. Yes, now they have. It's it's 20 to 15, that, and that does match what I have. Now stamps with a serve. Hit by Moya. Popped up by Hammock to Aaliyah Abron. She hits the ball hard, but Wiley East will set it up, feather it over. Hit by Womack. Popped up by uh, Hammock and then over with two hands by Aaliyah Abron. Raiders kept it alive. Return it. Hit by Moya. 
and popped up uh, by Hammett. And then Sadie Washburn blasted away and hit it across the back line. Six-point lead by Wiley East. Another timeout for the Lady Cats. Bailey Dorner clapping her hands now and trying to fire up the Lady Cats. They're down 21-15 in set one. We'll be back uh, with more right after this. 21-15. And Leah Stamps are serving for uh, Wiley East. They have the lead, that six-point lead. And here's Stamp serve. It's over. Hit by Pickett. Hammock sets it up and feathered over by Sadie Washburn. The Raiders uh, returned it. Punched back across uh, Aaliyah Abram, and then uh, the Raiders hit it across the back line. Lady Cats back to within five at 21-16, and back to serve is Aaliyah Abram. And Aaliyah's serve on the way, a good one. Dug by uh, Wiley East. Their shot blocked, though. Good block there. I think Sadie Washburn, Brooklyn Burnside, was right next to her. One of those got the block. I think Sadie Washburn, but that's just a guess on my part. Lady Cats down by four now, 21-17. Aaliyah Abram with the serve. It's good. Wiley East second hit. And over it goes, hit by Abram all the way back across. And the Raiders return it, hit by Kate Womack. Hammock pops it up to Sadie Washburn. She fires away, but Wiley East kept it alive. They set up the net, feathered it over. It, oh, it just hit the sideline. And uh, the official with that play right in front of him made the call. And Wiley East is now up by five at 22-17. And I believe this is Macy Griffin. It's hard to read that number again on the front. Griffin with a serve, hit by Leah Abram. Hammock pops it up. Sadie Washburn, a big hard hit, but uh, Wiley East kept it alive and returns it. Hit by Womack, and Hammock uh, blasted by Brooklyn Burnside, but blocked back on the Lady Cat side, but they return it, and they get it over, but there was a rule to have a catch and a toss, or a double hit, actually, is what the ruling is. And uh, the Lady Cats are back to within four at 22-18. Here's uh, Sadie Washburn. Sadie serve on the way. Here's second hit, and Wiley East feathers it over. Burnside and then uh, Washburn, and then over by Erica Van Bentham, even despite the ceiling. There's a big kill by uh, one of the uh, Raiders, the lady we have not seen. Uh, that's Niall Mathis. And uh, it's now 23-18. And another serve, I believe, again by Macy Griffin. Serve on the way. Dug by uh, Womack. Hammock pops it up. And Brooklyn Burnside with a kill. Handcuffed uh, the uh, Raiders. And the Lady Cats, are, they're down by four, though, 23-19. And now serving is Peyton Hammock. Peyton serve on the way. And set up and cry for a kill by Wiley East, and they went into the net. Lady Cats down by three at 23-20. And another serve coming, Peyton Hammock. And Peyton serve. Get up near the net, set up on the net, and hammered away, but returned by Leah Abram. Lady Cats keep it alive. The second hit, this will have to go over. Sadie Washburn hits it across. Set up to the net. Blasted away, went off Lady Cat and net players. Again, that was Stamps with a good finish. She's had at least three here in the first set. And Wiley East is leading 24 to 20. And back to serve their libero. This is Grace Christner. Christner with a hit. Elia Abram popped up by Hammock to Erica Van Bentham's. And the Lady Raiders get it back across. And the Lady Cats uh, found themselves with an Irie in the way and the out-of-bounds uh, antenna and all that stuff. And Wiley East gets the point and takes uh, set number one by the score of 25 to 20. So it's Wiley East one set, the Lady Cats zero. And uh, we will take a break. The teams will uh, change uh, sides of the court, and we'll be back for the set number two right after this break. 
Well, they had another minute and uh, some change left in the break, but both teams are back on the court ready to go, so uh, the, re the clock has been reset. And uh, we'll get underway a little bit quicker now with uh, set number two. And Wiley East will be serving to start this set. And again, they won the first set 25-20. And back to serve Wiley East now will be Kelsey Mullen. These are lefty serves, as I recall. And yes, Mullen with a serve on the way. Hit by Chelamoya. Uh, it's one of those that barely cleared the net. And boy, Stamps rose up and just drilled that into the floor. That's the play when I see those. I say, watch out below. Because uh, that ball creeps across the net. Here's uh, Mullen with another hit. Hit by Erica Van Bentham. The Raiders keep it alive and uh, return it blocked by the Lady Cats. The Raiders uh, keep it alive and got it back over. Doug by Sadie Washburn. Hit high in the air over to Erica Van Bentham. She hammers away. And now it's set up toward the net and feathered over. And it just hit inside the court. Now that's uh, that official's kind of in the way, so I can't tell if a player was there, but it didn't look like it. There was uh, nobody there, so... Uh, it's now two to nothing, Wiley East. Mullen with another serve, left-handed. Good. Hit by Erica Van Bentham, and um, uh, Hammock got, uh, uh, got it over with a left fist, but the guy, the uh, party pooper with the red flag, uh, said she was too far off the court. That uh, wiped out a pretty play. Here's uh, Mullen with a hit. Of course, he did the right thing. It was the right call. There's the second Lady Cats hit, and over by Hammock. Second hit by the Raiders, and they feather it over. Hit by Moya, high in the air by Washburn, and over by Leah Abram. Set up near the net, the Raiders hammered away, and uh, a two-hit violation on Wiley East. The Lady Cats trail 3-1 now, and back to serve is Erica Van Bentham. Erica served good. And it's popped up near the net. Oh, they tried to hammer away there by Wiley East and could not clear the net. Lady Cats back to within 3-2. Erica Van Bentham with another server coming for the Lady Cats. Gets it over. Popped high in the air. Set up to the net and drilled over. Van Bentham hits it. Popped up by the Lady Cats and over by Kate Womack. The Raiders set up the net and uh, drill it, but uh, hit by Erica Van Bentham. Lady Cats keep it alive. Kate Washburn, or uh, by Womack, got it back over. There's a return, Wiley East, and it handcuffed the Lady Cats. They got something, they hit it, but not, uh, not very effectively. And uh, Wiley East leads 4-2. And serving now is Miranda Howard. She's been a good one back there from the serve. Well, wouldn't you know it, I, I jinxed her. Hit it right into the net. Four to three, and here's uh, Kate Womack now serving. Sorry about that, Kate. Kate's uh, serve. Oh, an ace. Nicely done. She put some weird, wild spin on that, and we're tied at four. Set number two, and Wiley East won the first set, 25-20. Womack with a serve is over. Second hit by the Raiders to Stamps, and her shot to... Uh, Went into Lady Cat net people, and they could not get it back across. Lady Cat so far have uh, played without uh, Sydney Washburn, and th they had some injuries on. Uh, I shouldn't speculate about that, but we have not seen Sydney tonight, so I don't know. We'll see. May see her later. Lady Cat's trail five to four, and here stamps with a serve. Hit by Sadie Washburn or Sydney Washburn. Wouldn't you know it? She's in there now. And uh, here's uh, uh, Abram uh, hit it across, and the uh, ball went toward the back wall. Right when I was uh, talking about uh, possible injury to Sydney Washburn, she's on the court. <laughs> so uh, she's in there now. So nothing wrong with Sid. 5-5, five, five, and now serving Aaliyah Abram for the Lady Cats. But I just noticed she did not play that first set. Here's a ball set up to the net and over by the Raiders. They tried a crossfire, and that went wide. And the Lady Cats with uh, a 6-5 lead. A rare lead in this match. In fact, I don't think they led in the first set at all. So that is 
Lee the first lead, and there's a serve by Leah Abram. Went over the back line. We're tied at six. Yeah, the Lady Cats did not trail. They did not lead at any time in the first set, and they went down three to nothing in this one. They were able to tie it 4-4 and 5-5, but now we're tied at 6-6. And serve time now for uh, Wiley East. Hit by Leah Abram. Hammock pops it up and fired on a good kill by Sadie Washburn. That serve, by the way, by Wiley East was done by Lakin Dillon. Lady Cats with another rare lead at 7-6. Sadie Washburn now serving. And again, Wiley East won the first one 25-20. Served by Sadie. And uh, that kind of handcuffed them again. They hit it once, and then nobody else could get to it. Lady Cats with a two-point lead at 8-6. Sadie Washburn with another serve coming. Sadie serves. Second shot by the Raiders, and over it goes. Hit by Sadie Washburn. Popped up in the air. Hammock. Brooklyn Burnside fires away. Her shot blocked, and then the Lady Cats kind of got in each other's way, and nobody could really... Uh, uh, do much with it, and so a point for Wiley East. Lady Cats leading 8-7. And now serving, I believe this is, uh, well, I, here's the serve. I cannot tell. Here, Abram popped up in the air over by Burnside. And Raiders hit it back over, hit by Leah Abram, popped into the air. Uh, Van Bentham shot blocked. Nice block there, I believe, that was made by Niall Mathis. And, golly, I can't tell what that is. I know it looks like a two, but just cannot tell. And she's got a flourishing ponytail down the back that blocks the number two, and she just hit it wide. Oh, that's a number eight. Okay, that was Autumn Perry. Sorry, Autumn. Oh, I, I'll never forget her, I don't think. 9-8, the Lady Cats lead now. And, and uh, now uh, Peyton Hammock to serve for the Lady Cats. Gets it over. Popped high in the air. The Raiders set up the net. Oh, they hammered it away, but hit it way too hard. And uh, Lady Cats are up 10-8. The serve coming by Peyton. Serve by Hammock is good. And Wiley East sets up the net, blocked. But Wiley East keeps it alive, returns it. Dug by Leah Abron, and Hammock dumps it over. But again, Wiley East keeps it alive and returns it. Hit by Sadie Washburn. Popped up in the air. Burnside fires away and got the kill. A pretty good hit, or a pretty good part of the ball hit by Wiley East, but it kind of went wild, and Burnside had hit it pretty hard and picks up the kill to make it 11-8. Timeout taken. Wiley East, uh, Coach Lisa Curry, and uh, Lady Cats leading 11-8 in set two, and Wiley East won the first set. Let's take a break. Back in a moment. And both teams have, broke, uh, have broken the huddle now and back out on the court. Lady Cats leading 11-8. Wiley East won the first set, 25-20. And Peyton Hammock ready to serve for the Lady Cats. She's been serving, but... Uh, well, they have that time out here. So now she'll con continue. And Peyton serve on the way. He's going to head across the back line. So I guess they iced the server there. Or that was the net effect anyway. Pardon the James Terry pun in the volleyball game. 11 to 9. Lady Cats lead. And here's a serve by a Christner. And it was dug by the Lady Cats, but went right in sideways, right into their bench. Lady Cats with an 11 to 10 lead here in set two. And another serve now for Grace Christner. Hit by Leah Abram, popped up in the air and went right behind the official is up on the Irie. So it hit out of bounds and we're tied at 11. Lady Cats at one time led 11-8. <clears throat> Christner with another serve coming. Oh, kind of popped it over, but just uh, got it over. Brooklyn Burnside hammers away. Uh, the Raiders return it, hit by Abram. Hammock pops it up. Burnside fires away, another kill. <coughs> Brooklyn beginning to warm up. 
had a couple of early, early shots blocked, but she's been firing away. 12-11 now. Here's a Chella Moya. And her oh, serve. Oh, my. That looked close to the back line. The official with the flag looking right down on it said, nope, too long. And we're tied at 12. And once again, this is Mullen, the left-handed server for the Raiders. Whoop, right into the net. Lady Cats leading 13-12. Erica Van Bentham at the serve for Lady Cats. Erica gets it over. Popped up near the net and popped up again and returned by Wiley East. Good dig by Erica Van Bentham. Hammock and over it goes for the Lady Cats. Second hit by the Raiders up near the net. Stamps uh, feathered it over. Is hit back by Burnside. Or no, Kate Womack. Here's the Wiley East hit get just over the back line. Trying to nail that back line was Lauren Vasquez. But it went just over the back line. Lady Cats leading 14-12. Another serve for Van Bentham. Gets it over. Oh, that uh, got it over, but it went wide, just wide. And the Lady Cats with a narrow 14-13 lead. And back to serve again now is Miranda Howard. Howard serve, hit by Kate Womack. Hammock pops it up, and Womack uh, hit it, but it, it did that dance on the net, top of the net that time, and went back on the Lady Cat's side. Very fickle net tonight. 14-14, and Howard with another serve for the Raiders. Pops it over, hit by Pickett. Hammock uh, hit it, and then uh, Abron. Seemed like about five hits, but uh, now we uh, have a stoppage in play and a hitting violation on the Lady Cats. And it looked like they got away with about five hits there. But eventually, maybe somebody figured it out and blew the whistle. Anyway, Lady Cats trail now 15-14, and here's Howard with another serve. Miranda Howard pops it over, hit by Womack. Hammock sets it up and feathered over by Leah Abram. Set up and hammered back across the Lady Cats, blocked it. And the Raiders pop it back over, and it's going to go out of bounds. Uh, Hammock started to play it and let it go, and it went into the uh, Lady Cats bench. We're tied at 15 here in set two. And the Lady Cats lost the first one, 25-20. Here's a serve by Kate Womack. Second Raiders shot to Stamps. Over it goes. Hit by Womack and thrown back over by Hammock. But uh, Wiley East returned it. The Lady Cats' third hit went off a net people and out of bounds. A point for Sadie Washburn on a hard kill. Sounds like a James Bond movie. A view to a hard kill or something. 16-15, and here's uh, Kate Womack. Got it over. Oh, but it went too just wide or just long, I should say, across the back line. And we're tied at 16. And Leah Stamps will be serving for the Raiders. Leah Stamps serve, and a couple of Lady Cats looked at it, and it fell between them. Wiley East leads 17-16. Used to live in the Raider area. You lived in Sacramento. That was close enough. And a group of us actually had Raiders season tickets. I usually use mine to see the Dallas Cowboys <laughs> come to town. There's a serve back on, on the Lady Cats side and a nice kill there by Sadie Washburn. And we're tied at 17. And Aaliyah Abram now back to serve. Been to a lot of Raider games. For, I'd say maybe 10, 12, something like that a lot for a team not named the Dallas Cowboys. There's a good serve by Leah Abram. Ball set to the net. Oh, uh, third shot uh, did not go across for the uh, Raiders. Lady Cats up 18-17. Another serve coming to Leah Abram, and a whistle blows, and a substitution coming in for Wiley East now is Macy Griffin, and she will replace Lauren Vasquez. And the serve coming up, Aaliyah Abram gets it over. Hit by Stamps, set up to the net, and hammered over, and the Lady Cats can't return it. A good kill there up at the net 
And that again was uh, Autumn Perry. Tied at 18. And a serve by the Raiders. And a, oh, an ace of a serve, and that was done by Macy Griffin. And Wiley East back up 19-18. It's going back and forth now. Another serve hit by Pickett. Oh, and it, nobody there. And went out of bounds. It went across, but out of bounds. Timeout taken. Bailey Dorner with uh, Wiley East leading set two, 20 to 18. They also won the first set, 25-20. We'll take a break. Back in a moment. And back to play. And uh, Macy Griffin serving for the Wiley East Raiders. Serve into the net. But he counts down by one, now 20 to 19. And back to serve is Sadie Washburn. And her sister Sydney is also out there, by the way. Sadie's serve is good. Stamps hit it high in the air. Popped up near the net, and over it goes. And oh, it just hit the back line. Oh, my. That was another close call back there. And a nice kill by uh, Niall Mathis. Wiley East leading 21-19. And this is uh, Autumn Perry. Gets it over. Hit by Leah Abram. Popped up Hammett. Van Bentham returns it. And over by the Raiders. Lady Cats keep it alive. And Brooklyn Burnside returns it. The Raiders keep it alive. Third hit is over. Hit by Burnside popped up, and Hammock set up Burnside. She fires away. The Lady Cats got it blocked back, but kept it alive, and Burnside pushes it over the net. Here's a try for a kill by the Raiders. The Lady Cats keep it alive. Their third hit over by Erica Van Bentham. Now the Raiders set up the net, hammered away. Oh, another call right on the line. Boy, Lady Cats having a hard time getting a, a line call, and and uh, now it's uh, 22 to 19, a three-point lead uh, by the Wiley East Raiders. And Autumn Perry ready with another serve here. And Perry's serve on the way is going to go back across the back line. Lady Cats down by two, 22-20 as Peyton uh, Hammock. Now back to serve for the Lady Cats. Wear your PJs uh, day at here at the high school, and we have a PJ clad fan here. Here's a serve. Second hit, and over it goes by Wiley East. That one just missed the back line, went the other way. So the Lady Cats are back to within one at 22 21. And they had the, that ball went kind of back behind the stands, and uh, Peyton Hammock had to chase it down. Came out of there with it. Now she'll serve and gets it over. There's a second hit by Wiley East, and over it goes. Good dig by Moya. Well, she did the best she could, but it ended up in, in the Lady Cats uh, bench area. Nobody could really do much with that, but it's now 23-21 uh, Wiley East. Timeout taken uh, by Bailey Dorner for the Lady Cats. They trail sec uh, set. Uh, set two, 23-21. Lost the first set, 25-20. Back in a moment. And they serve uh, by the libero for the Raiders. The Lady Cats keep it alive and get it back across. Raiders set up the net. And, oh, a nice finish, big-time finish there by uh, Miranda Howard. And they're uh, within one. Uh, Wiley East leading 24-21. They're on the verge of taking a two sets to zero lead here. And Krishner with a serve. Hit by Sadie Washburn. Hammock sets it up. Brooklyn Burnside set to hit it, but they did not like uh, Peyton's uh, hit. They called it a, a two hit. And so that uh, will end uh, set number two at 25-21. Uh, to 21. Again, set one was 125-20 by Wiley East. So in sets, it's Wiley East 2 and uh, Lady Cats of Sulphur Springs 0. We'll get ready for set number 3 
uh, right after the break. Again, the teams have uh, gone back to the original configuration on the court, the way we started, and uh, we'll be back with set number three right after this break. And getting ready for set number three here, and uh, I believe uh, Lady Cats will serve first uh, again in this one. Erica Van Bentham will be back there to serve. Wiley East won the first one 25-20. They won the second one 25-21. So Lady Cats continue to have a hard time with this Wiley East team. And Erica Van Bentham is just about ready to serve once the officials are squared away with everything and, and give her the go-ahead, which they just did. Here's Erica serve to start set three. And the Raiders set it up to the net and hammered across. Van Bentham pops it up. Hammock sends it to Sadie Washburn. And now we have a double hit called on the Lady Cats again. And they trail one to nothing. It's an evil disease sometime, that call. Here's uh, Miranda Howard for the serve, hit by uh, Womack to Hammock. Back to Womack, shot blocked. Uh, Moya gets it, pops it up. Hammock and feathered over by Aaliyah Abram. Set up to the net for the Raiders, and they found a dead spot right in the corner. And they lead two to nothing. Of course, they lead in sets two to nothing. And uh, serving again now has been uh, probably their best server tonight, Miranda Howard. Hit by Womack. Hammock pops it up in the air. Womack, oh, tried to feather it over, and it just stayed on stayed on her side. Wiley East leads three to nothing here in set three. And Howard with another serve. Over, hit by Womack and popped up by Hammock. Feathered over by Sadie Washburn. Boy, she... Picked a good time to do that. Found a dead spot in there and just feathered it right into the dead spot. Lady Cats trail 3-1. And uh, back to serve, Kate Womack. Kate served good. Second Raider hit up near the net and over. It went off of one of the Lady Cats and then stayed on their side. Point for uh, Wiley East. They lead 4-1. As coming in off the bench for them now is Niall Mathis. Back to serve is Leah Stamps for the Raiders. Serve by Stamps, hit by Pickett. Hammock sets it up. Sadie Washburn again goes with a feather. It's knocked back across by Wiley East. Third Lady Cat shot. Oh, a nice kill there by Sadie Washburn. Hope Stamps is okay. I think she is. It's probably just the shock of, uh, of taking that uh, hard hit. And she looks okay. Lady Cats uh, trail now four to two with Aaliyah Abram now serving. Aaliyah serve. And that handcuffed the Raiders. So the Lady Cats back to within four three with Aaliyah Abram back to serve for the Lady Cats chance to tie this one up in the early going of set three. Aaliyah serve, good. Second Raiders uh, shot. Dug by Sadie Washburn, over by Sydney Washburn. And now set up the Raiders, uh, hit it. Hammock it, heading toward the back row. There's Pickett. And, oh, Sydney Washburn really gave it a great effort trying to get that over from back behind the serving line, and it just came up short. Brooklyn Burnside knocked it over, but too many hits. Wiley East leads 5-3. There's a serve to Sadie Washburn to uh, Hammock. And then blocked by Wiley East, and it hit right inside the back line. Point for Wiley East. They lead 6-3. And Wiley East ready to serve again. And the serve is over. Hit by Sidney Washburn. Popped up by uh, Hammock. Hammered away by Sadie Washburn. Wiley East keeps it alive and returns it. Get high in the air, Sadie Washburn. Hammock pops it back up to Sadie, and she gets it back across. Wiley East sets it up and punches it over. Hammock hits it. Abram hits it, and over by Sydney Wa uh, Sadie Washburn. And now a uh, violation, a lifting violation on Wiley East. 
Lady Cats down by two, six, four with uh, Sadie Washburn to serve. And Sadie's uh, serve on the way. And the Raiders set up on the net. The shot blocked, though. Good block there, either by Erica Van Bentham or, uh, or, Brook or Brooklyn Burnside. Lady Cats back to within one at 6-5. And Sadie Washburn with another serve gets it over. The Raiders set up the net and hammered across. Good dig by Sadie Washburn. Hammock pops it up. Sydney Washburn hammers it across and got the kill. Nice kill by Sydney Washburn. We're tied at six. Again, I apologize to her for thinking that uh, perhaps she was injured. I had that in my mind from Friday's game. Coach mentioned several players injured. But she's okay. There's a good serve. Uh, Sadie Washburn, second hit, and over it goes uh, by the Raiders. Hit by Leah Abram. Popped high in the air by Sadie Washburn and over by Erica Van Bentham. The Raiders set up the net, feather it over into a dead spot. Good kill by uh, Wiley East. Don't always have to hammer the ball. You can just feather it if you put it in the right spot. Wiley East now leading set 3-7-6. And serving now is Autumn Perry. Serve is good. Hit by Sadie Washburn again, just barely across and killed there by Miranda Howard. Howard, quite a player for uh, the Raiders. Good server and good finisher around the net. Wiley East leading 8-6. There's another serve by Perry. There's a pop-up by Hammock and hit by Erica Van Bentham. Went off of the Raider and then went out of bounds. Lady Cats back to within 8-7. And Peyton Hammock back to serve for the Lady Cats. Now she's been given the go-ahead. And here's Peyton serve on the way, a good one. The Raiders all the way back across. Abram pops it up. Hammock sets it up. Brooklyn Burnside with a crossfire. And it's uh, ruled in by the side official to our left. <coughs> And we're tied at eight. And Hammock with another serve coming. Wiley East took the first two sets. We're tied in the third one. There's a serve by Hammock. Second Raider shot. They get it over. Oh, and they feathered it into a dead spot there between the front line and the back line. And Coach Dorner comes up waving those hands, coaching those ladies. Wiley East leads 9-8. And this is Grace Christner for the serve. Hit by Kate Womack. Popped up by Hammock and over by Leah Abram. Second shot by the Raiders. Uh, Howard gets it across. Sadie Washburn sets up uh, to Peyton and then the uh, hammer by uh, Erica Van Bentham, but the Raiders uh, return it. There's a second shot by uh, Hammock and then Sadie Washburn blast away, but the Raiders keep it alive. This third shot does go over. Sadie Washburn sets up Hammock, and then a big kill by Brooklyn Burnside. I'm not sure that Brooklyn doesn't have as many kills as anybody on this one. She's had a very nice night, and we're tied at nine. Of course, she is a budding uh, superstar on this uh, Lady Cats team, and just a sophomore. Bright future. I told her that in Garland, by the way. Here's uh, Chella Moya for the serve. It's a good one. This shot will have to go over and does. Nicely done by the Raiders. And they, there's a ball put over by Nyla Lindley, who's now in there. The Raiders have tried to return it, blocked, but they kept it alive. And they'll hit it across, hit by Sadie Washburn. And Hammock tosses it across. The Raiders set up the net. It, it hit by a fist by Sidney Washburn, and they get it back. Nicely back over by Nyla Lindley. There's a return by the Raiders. Another good dig by Moya. And then over by Erica Van Bentham. Lady Cats dig it out of the line, uh, net and get it back across. The Raiders set up the net for Stamps. Dug by uh, Washburn. And now over by Erica Van Bentham. That was Sadie Washburn. And there's Howard with a return. Hit by Nyla Lindley. Popped up uh, uh, Peyton Hammock. And then Lindley tried to hammer it across and blocked by the uh, Raiders. And they lead 10-9 after a really nice volley there. And back to serve now is Kelsey Mullen. 
Only left-handed server that I can think of in this ball game. Gets it over. Hit by Chella Moya. Hammock pops it up over to Nyla Lindley, who returns it, and then it's hit. But it was a hit by one fist and went out of bounds. But a nice effort there. I believe that was by Lakin Dillon. And we're tied at 10. And back to serve Erica Van Bentham for the Lady Cats. Gets it over. Dug by the Raiders. All the way back across. Now the Lindley tried for the kill, but the Raiders uh, got it back across. Now the old Lady Cats will set up uh, Sadie Washburn. She hit it. It was deflected by the Raiders and out of bounds. So a point for the Lady Cats, and they lead 11-10. And another serve coming for Erica Van Bentham. Sister uh, was very good a couple of years ago. Mika Van Bentham. Erica with a good serve. Ball up to the net and a big time kill that just caught the sideline. The judge with the red flag rules in and we're tied at 11. And now back to serve. I believe this is Miranda Howard again. For the Raiders. Puts it over. Hit by uh, uh, Womack. Hammock sets up Nyla Lindley. And now the ball set up to the net and hit by the Raiders. Popped up by Womack, and then nobody can get to it. Tate kind of threw the arms out like, oh, gosh, that didn't work out well. And uh, Wiley East leads 12-11 here in set three. Howard with a little uh, dinky serve, and the Lady Cats get it back. Oh, uh, just dumped over by Peyton Hammock, and it just found just the right spot. That's the only place on that court it could have landed and not been returned, I think. We're tied at 12, and here's a serve now for Kate Womack. Hit by the Raiders. There's their second hit. This will have to go over and does. Dug by Moya. Popped up by Hammock for Sadie Washburn. She fires away and hit the back line. And the Lady Cats are up 13-12. And Womack with another serve coming. Chad with Chad's videos in attendance here tonight. There's a serve by Kate Womack. Second shot by the Raiders, and they get it across. Dug by Paris Pickett, hit by Moya, and over by Hammock. The Lady Cats have two on the floor. One of them slow to get up. And uh, the Lady Cats do get it back across, and Nyla Lindley found a nice spot. Well, Kate Womack uh, kind of was shook up a little bit. She's still trying to compose herself, and I, they're going to check her out here as, uh, as uh, she was very slow to get off the floor, and David Carrillo has come out with uh, Bailey Dorner, and they're bringing her over to uh, to uh, Tammy Carroll. I, I think Kate may have maybe uh, hit her head or something. She's, or her nose or something anyway. She is is trying to compose herself over there, and Tammy Carroll will help her out over there. And uh, Sydney Washburn is now serving for the Lady Cats as they lead 14-12. They did get that to point on that good finish. And now Bailey Dorner had a question. She sent her captain, uh, Sadie Washburn, over, and now Bailey is heading over to the scorer's table, and she gave a thumbs up. So whatever was her concern was answered. And Sydney Washburn will serve for the Lady Cats. Sydney, a good one. There's a second hit by the Raiders, but they didn't like that one. That was that old uh, double hit call. And the Lady Cats are up 15-12. Three points is about as big as they've had tonight in any set. Served by Sydney Washburn. Hit by the Raiders. They'll set up the net and get it over. Blocked by Nyla Lindley. Raiders uh, return it. Popped up Sydney Washburn. And Hammock sends it over Sadie Washburn, and she had a kill to the back line. Lady Cats playing some of their best volleyball here in set three. And they have gone from uh, down 12-11 uh, to up 16-12. And another serve coming from Sydney Washburn. And a good one by, oh, I say good. It went across the net, but then it uh, kind of duck hooked and went uh, uh, wide on the side. Lady Cats lead is three, now 16-13. And Stamps now serving for the Raiders. Gets it over. Hit by Paris Pickett. 
Peyton Hammock sets it up. Uh, Sadie Washington, she blasted away, but the one hopper into the uh, Wiley East bench and hit two wide. And Lady Cat's lead is down to two. And Stamps serving. For the Raiders, gets it across, hit by Paris Pickett. Hammock sets up uh, Sadie Washburn, and she feathered it over. Again, put in a real good spot. Sadie showing you can do just as much uh, with sugar as you can with vinegar or something. There's a message in there somewhere if you got it. I hope you did. 17-14, here's Aaliyah Abram, and she serves across. The Raiders uh, set up the net and get it across. Hit by Sidney Washburn, set up by Hammock. Oh, my. And it looked like Burnside was falling into another position, and I think that set was intended for her, so she didn't get there. And uh, Wiley East Trail 17-15, and they are serving. They get it across, hit by Leah Abram. Oh, it just barely got across the net, and Wiley East uh, feasted on that, and Perry with a kill. Boy, those ones that just creep across the net. Like I say, watch out below. Serve coming up for Macy Griffin for the Raiders. Trailing 17-16. Uh, Sydney Washburn just got it back across, and Perry says, I'll have another, thank you very much. And we're tied at 17. We have a timeout taken by uh, Bailey Dorner. Tied in the third set, 17-17. Wiley East won the first two. Let's uh, take a break. We'll be back in a moment. Wiley East will be serving. We're tied at 17 here in set three. Wiley East won the first 25-20. They won the second 25-21. And the Raider serve is a good one. Hit by Leah Abram. Across by Peyton uh, Hammett. And uh, that was a violation on Wiley East. Lady Cats leading 18-17, and uh, Sadie Washburn is now serving for the Lady Cats. Sadie across. Hit by Stamps. Second shot by the Raiders, and over it goes. Hit by Leah Abram, but it's into the bench. Lady Cats' third shot is over. Nicely done. Erica Van Benton in the middle of that. Raiders return it. Hit high toward the back wall. That's the second shot, and over it goes by Sadie Washburn. And feathered over by... Uh, Wiley East into a dead area, and we're tied at 18. This looks like it's uh, going to go right down to the wire, we would think. But we shall see. Now in to serve is uh, Lakin Dillon for the Raiders. Tied 18-18 in set three. They won the first two. Dillon serve. Hit by Leah Abram. Hammock pops it up, and uh, Sadie Washburn blasts away. The Raiders kept it alive and get it over. Went off Sydney Washburn. Popped up by Hammock and over by Erica Van Bentham. The Raiders set up the net and hit it across. Sadie Washburn pops it up. Hammock pops it back to Sadie, and she tried to, from the back line, tried to drill it over and hit it into the net. That is a, I've said it before, that is a tough shot. Wiley East leads 19-18. And Dillon to serve for the Raiders. Gets it over. Hit by Leah Abram. Popped up by Hammock to Erica Van Bentham, who returns it. The Raiders set up the net and get it over. Aaliyah Abram pops it up. Hammock sets up Brooklyn Burnside. She hammers it across, but the Raiders keep it alive and get it over. Hit by Sadie Washburn. Hammock pops it up. Erica Van Bentham gets it across. The Raiders keep it alive. Send it up to the net and get it across. Sadie Washburn pops it up over with a fist. Hammock. And now the Raiders set up the net, and oh, a big time finish. Boy, that looked wide to me, but the official with a flag that has the call that matters says in. And uh, Wiley East leads 20 to 18. And Dillon with another serve for the Raiders. Came in 12 and 12, but they've played some people this year. There's Dillon serve, dug by uh, Sadie Washburn. And Hammock sets it up, and uh, Brooklyn Burnside just uh, had to almost reach over the net to kind of just get a piece of it and send it on the Raider side, and they couldn't return it. Lady Cats trail 20 to 19, and Peyton Hammock back to serve. Peyton serve, a good one. Ball up near the net, 
and returned by the Raiders. Good uh, dig by Sadie Washburn. And Erica Van Bentham feathers it over. The Raiders keep it alive. They'll set up the net and get it over. Dug by Sadie Washburn. Hammock turns and flips it over. The Raiders set it up toward the net, but the Raiders couldn't get it out of the net, and we're tied at 20. Boy, this has been a tight set. It's back and forth. Every once in a while, somebody will get a point or two lead. And here is uh, the serve. Oh, by... Uh, by Hammock, it's going to go across the back line. Wiley East leading 21-20 in their libero now serving. This is Grace Christner. Christner serve. Doug uh, by Sidney Washburn popped up Hammock and over by Erica Van Bentham. Ball is, uh, oh, the lady from uh, the Raiders there tried to... Uh, Instead of set it up, Hunt tried to flip it over, and it ended up in the net. We're tied at 21, and Chella Moya is back to serve for the Lady Cats. And Coach Dorner is going to make a substitution here. Nala Lindley comes in for uh, Brooklyn Burnside. Kate Womack uh, looks better over there in the bench, but she looks like she's got a stiff neck or something. I I don't know what happened, but uh, anyway, Kate uh, appears to be recouping, but she's still on that bench right now. Hopefully she can get back in before the end of this one. Here's uh, Chella Moya's serve. Oh, that's uh, destined for back behind the back line. Boy, too many uh, service errors for the Lady Cats. Just every time I see them play, there's just too many. And it's hurt them tonight. Serve now for uh, Mullen, hit by Erica Van Bentham. Second shot and over by Van Bentham. The Raiders barely get it across. Nyla Lindley tried for the kill. The Raiders kept it alive uh, and return it. Hit by Hammer. Popped up by Moya and over by uh, Sadie Washburn. The Raiders return it nicely. And there's a the ball put up and over. Nicely done by Nyla Lindley to return that. The Raiders return it. Peyton Hammock pops it up. Oh, it was right in that net. Sidney Washburn said, I can't get in there and get that. And a timeout, Bailey Dorner is Wiley East leading 23-21, and they won the first two sets. They're trying to wrap it up here. Let's take a break, and we'll be back in a moment. Wiley East serving. They lead 23-21 to here in set three, and they won the first two. And here's Mullen with that left-handed serve, and she gets it over. Hit by Moya. Set up a Hammock. Oh, a, a big kill attempt by Sidney Washburn. Just long, according to the official with the flag. And Wiley East with match point here, leading 24-21 in set three. Trying to sweep this one here. Another serve by Mullen. Gets it over. Oh, it went off Moya and went sideways, and that's going to do it for the Lady Cats. As Wiley East wins 25-20, 25-21, and 25-21. Competitive for the Lady Cats, but just could not get over the hump tonight against Wiley East. And they win uh, this uh, match by the score of 3 to nothing. Again, 25-20, 25-21, and 25-21. Close, but no cigar. And I do not want a cigar anyway. <laughs> oh, boy. So the Lady Cats uh, lose this one. They go to 18 and 10 on the season. They will be taking Friday off, enjoying a homecoming. And I've, I heartily support that. I have seen some homecoming games that have made me really a shame sometime to be a follower of the Lady Cats because they've had some key players that uh, were so concerned about uh, being in the homecoming court and, and were to the detriment of the volleyball team. So they really did like that. So I think Coach Dorner is very uh, smart. And so um, that's going to do for this one. So after the, uh, after the uh, homecoming off, uh, actually, the Lady Cats so, will be off for 10 days, and they will they will have a chance to really work on their game. And for next our next broadcast, now you know that could be I could be uh, 
building myself a trap here. Let me find the schedule and see. Um, oh, okay. There is a game next Tuesday, but it's on the road at Community against our old coach, Coach Manus. So, uh, Nevada Community. That'll be there on next Tuesday. So, but the next home uh, action is uh, will be the start of district play. That'll be in 10 days. We'll be doing volleyball in lieu of uh, football since football will have an open date. And that'll be Royce City versus the Lady Cats, the first uh, district game. And so the Lady Cats will have uh, 10 days and we'll also have the uh, community game to kind of hone their craft to get ready for a district play, ready or not. It's uh, coming rapidly, and will start on September the 27th. While the East wins this one by the score of 3 to nothing, again 25-20, 25-21, and 25-21. to uh, James Terry uh, running spots back at the station. Appreciate him. Doug Haston shooting video replay on uh, both Channel 18 and also uh, be able to post to YouTube. We're sorry we could not live stream tonight, but for the third game in a row, we are having uh, technical difficulties. And it, just from the get-go tonight, it did not want to cooperate. So uh, we have we'll work to do in that uh, department. But hopefully by the uh, district opener in Royce City in 10 days, maybe we will have uh, figured out the uh, key to that problem. And I'm Don Julian with your play-by-play. -play. Uh, once again, our final score here from the main gym on the campus of Sulphur Springs High School, the Wiley East Raiders 3 and the Lady Cats of Sulphur Springs 0. Uh, thank you so much for joining us this evening. And so long. Thanks, Don. Uh, you've been listening to Lady Cats Volleyball on KSST Radio, 12.30 a.m. Sulphur Springs. Back to regular programming. In fact, back to the Texas Rangers after this message from UIL. Uh, Brooklyn Burnside was 7 for 14, so 50% in kills. Sadie Washburn had 14 kills. Um, she also had 11 digs. Shella Moya had the team high with 12 digs. Um, Peyton Hammock with 25 assists, and we only had only had three blocks on the night, but two of them coming from Brooklyn Burnside and one from Sadie Washburn. Oh, okay. What are your thoughts on this one? It was the, they're a tough team to play. Seemed like always. They're a good team. You know, they uh, kind of exposed our weak spots at some things, um, but it was a good match. I like to play these tougher teams a little bit closer to district. You know, we can see what we're lacking in, and we can use the rest of this week since we're off on Friday to just get better and then Tuesday play community which will be a tough team and then start district next Friday. Yeah Wiley East uh, came in with a 12-12 record but I talked to their coach and sound like they played every team named Frisco you know and they they just play a good uh, competitive schedule and kind of not worry about wins and losses until they get into district but but uh, they they do uh, really a, a challenge you out there. Yeah it definitely showed you know that they have played some tough teams at higher competition um, you know Anytime we would get the momentum from they took it right back. Um, it's just a back and forth, and um, they did a great job of keeping the momentum when they had it, and just wherever we weren't, they put the ball there. Have you uh, had some bumps and bruises and everything? Did some players kind of get out there and tough it out tonight? or? Um, a little bit, you know, um, had a couple players who were injured who, a little bit injured, but didn't really want to play them, but, you know, we had people go out, and so they had to go in, and so, but I just hope maybe resting up the rest of the week we'll be back and healthy next week. I hope we didn't add to the list. Uh, we had an injury out there, but, you know, we'll just have to, I'm sure that that'll all be evaluated and all that. Right. Coach Carroll and the training staff um, do a great job taking care of our athletes, and so they'll evaluate them, and we'll see where we are tomorrow. All right. You kind of you uh, get a, a, a day off uh, coming up on Friday for homecoming, and, again, I was just talking about that. I think that's a good idea because it always bothered me when there was such a conflict, when a lot, especially there used to be four and five volleyball players on the court and they just were conflicted you know about what to do but uh, you took care of that. I think it works better for everyone um, we do have a girl on the court Kaylee Malone is on the court yeah. um, so that way you know she can enjoy it but also the rest of the kids I mean they're still teenagers they're still high school kids you know they still need to enjoy homecoming and things like that and so I'm glad the schedule worked out the way it did. And then, as you mentioned, you get community. That's a real good test. They were tough on us last year. And then uh, right after that, uh, Roy City uh, will be Friday Well, in 10 days. Right. So I think I hope we can just get to work and play tough these next few days. And just next Friday, we step on the court in the best possible way that we can be all the way around. Best players, best team, just everything better. And get some people healed up, too, that are kind of hurting right now. Yes, please. <laughs> I appreciate you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.